Ice Baby Experiment by Kinsey Boozer and Christy Tran, ASU West Chem 101 2019. We predict that the ice in the salt water will melt slower than the fresh water because there's a higher concentration of solute and the ice in fresh water will melt faster because there isn't any solute present. The materials being used in this experiment are two clear cups, two cups of water, one teaspoon of salt, and red ice cubes. First, we added one teaspoon of salt to one of the cups of water, mixed it in, and then added a cup of salt water and a cup of fresh water to their own labeled clear cup. Then we dropped one red ice cube into each cup at the same time. We watched the ice in the two cups melt for about six minutes. The ice in the fresh water melted faster than the ice in salt water. As you can see, the ice in fresh water melted evenly around the cube. The ice and salt water melted from the bottom up, creating a thin, flat piece of ice. The density of the ice cube is less than the salt water, so the ice will float. But since the density was different, the food coloring in the ice cube stayed in a layer on the top. The density of the ice cube is equal to the fresh water that it will evenly spread out, even though the ice cube and food coloring spread out evenly, because of the oil in the red food coloring, there was a thin layer of red dye on the top. A real life example is when roads have snow on them. People will put salt on the roads so that the ice will have a lower freezing point, melting the ice on the road and preventing future ice from freezing over the road. Another example of a real life experience is an iceberg in a salt water. It will melt the ice in the salt water faster than the ice on top because the salt will melt layers off of the iceberg. <laughs>